Once you have a chart created, you can then apply many types of formatting to the chart to get the design, layout, and style that you want. Through the three tabs located under the Chart Tools feature of the ribbon, the Design tab, the Layout tab, in the Format tab, you can alter the look of your chart. Let's take a look first at the Design tab. We have already covered some of the groups and the commands in those groups within this tutorial. We've covered some of the commands in the Type group, as well as the Data group, as well as the Location group. That leaves just the Chart Layouts group and the Chart Styles group to cover. Notice that we have a Quick Layout command here in our Chart layouts group. When I select that it will drop down to a menu that gives me various layouts from which to choose. Now these layouts deal with the various elements that comprise your chart area such as the plotted data series which is usually the pie chart or the bar chart or the column chart the data series as well as your legend. And there's also ways that you can turn on various elements of your data to see that charted within your chart. I'm going to go ahead and choose this quick layout and when I do notice that the only thing that changes in my chart is that now the percentage sign is visible for each of the salespeople's sales. If I come back up here to quick layout select that and try this one notice that now my legend appears underneath my title and my data is plotted down below. Now even though you can switch through the quick layout. You can find a layout that you might like and yet you might want to move some of the elements within that layout such as the title. I can select it, position my mouse on the border of that chart element and drag it to where I want it to go. Same thing with a pie wedge. If I click the plotted area or the data series that's being plotted here, select that and then click again on the individual pie piece, I can then drag it out of the pie shape to pull attention to it. So that's how you can work a little bit with the layout of your chart. You can also change the style that your chart has by going to the chart styles group and the quick styles. When you select the quick styles command this will drop down into a menu that shows you the various styles that are available for your type of chart. You can then select that style and notice that immediately Excel will reformat all the various elements based on that quick style. Some very nice features, very powerful for designing and getting the look that you want for your chart. For our project, please open your sales monthly workbook. Or if you'd like to start with a file that reflects the development of this course up to this point, please open the 1008 start file, which you'll find in the Excel 2007 course directory in the Chapter 10 folder. Make that the active worksheet on your screen. And notice that this is our monthly sales workbook. And go ahead and click the cost versus price chart worksheet. So that's the active worksheet on your screen. This is a chart that is comparing the unit cost of our products to the sales price of our products. And it gives us the information in a graphical format. What we're going to do is kind of spruce up the design of this chart by using our quick layout command and our quick styles command. So what I'd like you to do is through the quick layout command and the quick styles command, go ahead and try some of the various layouts as well as styles until you find one that you like for your chart. Go ahead and apply those styles and when you have finished, save your workbook and move on to the next movie.